The customs officers are sure they're going to find counterfeits in the Chinese stands. They're following up on a tip they've received from the original manufacturers. First stop is at a cookware vendor's stand. This handle is the issue. There's one important difference between the original and the fake. Yes, now you can turn of course, because what? all our products uh, are branded with FPM logo, and uh, this particular handle did not have our brand, so it's a copy, positive. The customs officers agree. The Chinese act apologetic, and the officers confiscate the questionable pan. The vendors have to black out the listing in their catalog. That will be checked during the next inspection. In the end, the vendor will have to pay 500 euros, the usual penalty for a first offense. On we go. The lawyer from cookware maker Rostler is following along. This time, the dispute is about this pot. Sales continue at the next table while the customs officer registers the offense. The Indian vendor refuses to be reasonable. He doesn't want to pay. Either every year we have to pay. But he'll be arrested if he doesn't. He's a repeat offender, so the fine will be 1,500 euros. He only backs down when the prosecutor is called. But not before he tries, unsuccessfully, to bargain down the fine. The vendor doesn't believe that he's done anything wrong. We must have some information from the company. Mostly only the Rosley company is doing this, and this is again and again happening. Uh, and uh, we are asking for the information what products they want to protect. It was a successful day for the customs officers, if not for the Indian and Chinese vendors. The result is clear. We can't complain about not having enough to do. In the last seven hours, we launched 10 investigations, confiscated 10 pieces of merchandise, and collected security deposits. The urge to counterfeit products is continuing and getting bigger. Confiscated products usually disappear from the market, but new, different fakes will show up right away.